Hey everybody, it's Bill Cady with BillCadyOnline.com and uh, today's video is going to be real short. Um, just wanted to talk about how they talk about the 97% of people that actually fail in network marketing and why I believe that that is. Okay, so 3% of people actually become successful, actually make money in this business. Now, I started uh, looking for ways to make money from home, trying to build my own business. And I, when I first started, I actually tried to, to build a, a typical offline business, okay, which I was, I was successful at. I did do that. Uh, I did that back in 2000, well, February of 2010 is when I started doing that. I started looking for ways to make money online at about uh, September of August, September of 2010. And then I actually joined um, a business in October. Okay, um, so I do. I, I have a little bit of experience now. Okay, and I was in that ninety-seven percent range of people that that did fail, that didn't make any money. And I think that it was because you know when I came into this business, like I think so many other people do as well, uh, they come into it and they think that it's going to be so easy. You know, they come into it thinking, you know. Um, you know, I don't have a boss. I don't have anybody dictating my time. You know, I can, I can, I can be my own boss. I can do my own thing. And then they wind up doing a million of other things of besides the money producing activities that are actually going to make them successful. Okay. Um, so I think that the appeal of a, of a, a job from home, people just think that it's going to be easier because you're at home, you know, and the truth of the matter is, is it's not, you know, uh, you really have to, it takes a special person, you know, and anybody can develop into that. Um, but you have to more or less, I guess, train yourself, you know, and so you have to be self-motivated. You got to be a go-getter, okay, in, in order to, to succeed, okay, at anything really, but especially when you're your own boss and especially, uh, you know, when you're working for yourself at home, okay. So uh, another Thing that I, I think that a, a lot of people fail um, and become that 97 uh, percent is because they give themselves an expiration date and I'm telling you right now do not do that okay you are setting yourself up for failure right out the gate okay um, I see it time and time again you know I talk to people time and time again and they tell me Bill I'll give this 30 days and if I'm not making money, if I'm not where I want to be in 30 days, then I'll just quit. I'll go back to my job, you know, and and, and I'll just live like everybody else. I'll just continue doing what I was doing uh, previous, you know, and, and I'll just go about my life, you know. And I can tell you right now, if you think that way, and if, if you give yourself, you know, I'm going to give myself 30 days, and if it doesn't happen, then I'm just going to go back to my job. I promise you, you will fail. You will fail. Because you're all you're already giving yourself an outlet. Uh, you've already got a plan B. You know, I remember when I was struggling, extremely bad, struggling. Um, you know, I've had creditors ask me, and and I'd explain my situation and things like that because at the time I wasn't making any money, right? And they said, "Well, okay, so what's your plan B?" And I tell them, "I don't have a plan B." What do you mean you don't have a plan B? Plan B is enforcing plan A. <laughs> plan A is going to work. There, there is no failure here. Okay, I will succeed. I, I, I will um, make this work. Okay, so don't give an expiration date um, because you're, you're ultimately setting yourself up for failure. You do it until. Okay, I learned that from uh, another woman, very successful woman in our business, uh, in our company, um, Tracy. And, you know, she said, you know, you never give yourself an expiration date, but she said you do it until. So what does that mean? You do it until you're successful. You never give up on your dreams and on your goals and just keep keep moving forward. Keep moving toward what you know is ultimately what you want to be. And you will achieve. Okay, so don't stop. Don't give yourself an expiration date and don't become uh, that statistic being in the 97 percent. Be that three percent. 
It may take you longer than it takes somebody else. Somebody else might come into, into network marketing or whatever, direct sales or whatever, okay? And, and they may become extremely successful in 30 days. That might happen. If that, that's a possibility. It can happen. I've seen it happen, okay? And I, I've also often wondered, you know, why the hell didn't that happen to me? You know, it wasn't my time. Okay, just know that you have to learn new skills, and that you—it's—it's it, it's a process. It's—it's it's, uh, its just something that you have to go through. You know, it might not be 60 days before you're successful. It might not be 90 days. You know, it might not be 180 days. It wasn't for me. It took me longer than that. Okay, I never gave up, and I—and I told myself this is something that that will work for you. You will be successful and you're never going to give up on this. This is your dream, this is your goal, and, um, and you're gonna see it through, and you become, and you will become successful. Just don't stop. And, and I have it, and, I, and I'm not ever going to, okay? So, don't ever give up on yourself, don't give yourself an expiration date, keep moving forward, and you will be successful. So, that's my message for you today. So go out there, and, uh, you know, give it your best. Go out there and, and do what you know that you need to be doing right now so that you can move your business forward in a positive direction. I'll see you guys on, on the next one.